All right, guys. So, um, good morning. I'm going to just do my makeup with you guys today. Um, I've kind of gone live a couple of times and made some YouTube videos about my Ipsy bag reveals and moisturizing tips. So I'm going to kind of like use some of those products today for the first time because I'm going to do like a full face for the most part what a full face looks for me. And um, so I will be using some of those products today. If you guys remember if you watched my live this was one of the products that I'm going to be using um, uh, I believe in another bag I need to use my eye I can't let's see what's in here I believe the other item product that I'm going to be using today that I actually didn't get out of my ipsy bag it was given to me out of somebody else's ipsy bag and they didn't want to use it um, but the product I'm going to be using is the Luminizing Primer. Um, so that's an, one of the new products I'm going to be using today. Um, this comes later. Okay. Let's try to get started here. Um... This was a makeup wash, but I don't have a full face on yet, so that's not necessary. Here's a moisturizer. We're going to use that today. And um, I don't know if I want to try this brow shit yet. And this was just a chapstick. So we'll see about the brow thing just because I do have some stuff I have to do today. And I don't necessarily want to experiment um, and have to start over if I don't like it. So to start... I'm going to um, use this moisturizer and let's see how it goes. I did already use my basic lotion, um, but I brushed my teeth afterwards and I always feel like that washes off of this part and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and um, reapply some face cream to my face. I don't think it's going to hurt. Ooh. I'm not even sure this is for my face. Water gel cream moisturizer. Yeah, for your face. I'm kind of greedy because I, I like to over moisturize too, guys. So when they say like, oh, use a dab, I'm like, I'm going to use a whole lot more. So, um, okay. Feels all right. They always say to go up right into your pores. <laughs> I have a big forehead, so. All right, you know what, guys? It's a gel lotion. It feels really good. It feels like it's my skin as I'm applying it feels really uh, soft. I do feel like it needs to dry a little bit, but it's really soft. And um, FYI, I'm not sure how long to make makeup videos. I don't want to talk too much and get you guys bored. But I am a stoner. And I do um, want to participate in smoking during my makeup tutorials. <laughs> this bowl is almost out. <laughs> All right. Okay, next I'm going to use the mist because this hydrates. You use it before you apply your makeup and you can use it during the day while you have your makeup on and you can use it um, after. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can use it without makeup. You can use it during your makeup process, like before and while you're applying. You can also spray to set your foundation. And you can also use it throughout the day when your makeup's already been applied. Um, you know, if you have it in your purse, I guess, you can just kind of spritz your day and, and it glows, add that glow, that glow to your face. So that's what I'm gonna do here because it has the hydrating vitamins in it. It adds a glow, hydrates your skin, and energizes your skin. So we used that. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Next, we're going to try the Luminizing Primer. So I have kind of tried this before, but I didn't add it to my makeup routine yet. 
And um, this is really clear. I'm not really familiar with uh, what primer is supposed to do. <laughs> you guys, I'm not even going to lie to you. But it does have like this shimmer that's really pretty. And I feel like that's what it's supposed to do. So I do like want to add this to my normal routine. I actually can't do it like that. Where did I put my mirror? Here it is. So here we go. And if you guys want to drop, because I do go back and watch my videos, if you guys want to drop hints for me, like, feel free, because I'm all about learning how to do things right. You know, like, if I'm not doing it right, let me know, because I'm pretty sure I'm probably not doing it right. Um, but no harm, no foul, right? This is what I do. Learn as I go. And um, I'm very new to the makeup game. I've said in my lives before, I was not really a makeup person. I would wear it to go out and stuff like that, but I, on a day-to-day -day basis, I really embraced my natural look. And um, I just, as I got older, you know, embracing getting old kind of sucks, guys. Getting your skin, you know, wrinkles and pores and shit like that and spots. And I have freckles and sensitive skin. And so it's just kind of um, nice to be able to find a natural look that is more youthful for me because I don't like wearing makeup. I don't like cakey foundation. And that's why Burt's Bees, where did I put ya? Um, hello, where's my Burt's Bees? Sorry guys. I don't know what happened here. Oh, here it is. My bad. Ugh. Um, all right. So now I'm going to do my favorite product because I hate foundation so much that, um, I'll use anything but. So this is a, um, tinted face moisturizer so i put a lot of moisturizer on my face today i don't normally do that you guys but i'm trying to utilize the products oh. I love the brush over the sponge ball or whatever that thing is called. It This makes me feel like it's on so much lighter and not like I'm, I don't know, this kind of gives it a more, uh, I don't know, softer feel. It just doesn't feel like it's heavy on my skin, which is really what I don't like with foundation. It feels like a whole layer of mask and this just kind of you know, absorbs into your skin like lotion and eventually doesn't feel like it's really there. And that's why I like it so much because I just don't, I'm a sweater to you guys. I'm not even going to lie. I sweat a lot and, um, it sucks. So I try to just keep little as possible, little as possible on my face. But, yeah. So today I have, um, my boyfriend's youngest is turning one. And, um, we're going to his first birthday party today. So, of course, I'm getting ready really early because I, um, it's what I do. And, um, that way if I change my mind a million times because I do you guys I really really do I feel like I have a hair right here and it's bugging me ah, okay um 
because I do change my mind a million times, especially with wardrobe. I like to just start early in case something happens and I just really have to start all over, I guess, <laughs> or something happens, you know, so I try to be early, ready early. Um, it's cold right now, so I'm not really trying to look too cute as far as what I'm wearing. I'm not trying to impress somebody, anybody um, necessarily like that. You know, I'm not trying to impress anybody with anything. So today I'm really trying to go for a clean, natural look. But I want my eyebrows or my eyes to pop because um, I do like to kind of draw my wardrobe together with my eyes. And so the idea for me today is um, I'm wearing some tones of navy blue and like an um, light aqua blue and um, my shoes have the same colors except not navy blue but like an aqua blue and coral so i'm gonna try to bring out some coral in my eyes today to draw that coral in um but first i have to do my eyebrows and um this is one of my um very necessary steps in my makeup routine in fact if i don't wear any makeup at all after my eyebrows you guys um i can i have a tendency to do that as well i'll usually do the same fit makeup like moisturizer and then i'll do my eyebrows i might put on some mascara and just go not even do that's kind of like what i try to do sometimes that's like my productive day look like okay i feel like putting on something but i don't want to do too much so i will just do eyebrows and my moisturizer and go um so i'm saying that i don't want to do anything too dramatic with color today but it sounds like i'm going to end up doing something maybe a little dramatic just because of the color um, combinations um I'm going to have to uh get a little, you know, crazy with it. I mean, not crazy, but it's going to the color is going to kind of pop, so we'll see. My eyebrows can be rather annoying, you guys. Um, please don't ever, ever, ever shave your eyebrows. I was young, I was dumb, and I genuinely thought it would be easier because we didn't have threading. And if we did, I wasn't aware because I was a young girl, you know being raised to know that I was beautiful regardless of um, regardless of you know my thick eyebrows or being a little I was never a heavyset child I became heavyset after kids
So that's one eyebrow. I might have to touch it up and see what the other one ends up looking like, but if I can keep it looking similar, then it'll stay. But here we go. This is kind of, you know, the difference. All right, I'm definitely gonna have to touch them up, you guys, because they're not the same. So that's the issue that I run into, and it's annoying. Ugh. All right, Ugh. that's really, really annoying. I feel like I should actually pause the video. They're not too imperfect, but they just have some messy touch-ups that I need to do. So um, I don't wanna make you guys wait on that. I'm gonna pause.